I am Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. In this video, what I am trying to show you is how to read the CSV and Excel files in the community edition of Databricks. I find many people asking the same question that I get issues when reading the CSV files using Pandas. Pandas is useful when reading CSV and Excel files, but in Databricks, in the community edition, you might face some issues. So I will show you how you can overcome that difficulty in this video. First thing first, this is the notebook that I'm going to go through. I will put this in the description as also in my GitHub repo. You can just go there and download and use it, right? So yeah, what we need to do first is attach the cluster as always. If you don't know how to do that, please watch my previous videos, how to create the cluster. I have already created one. I will click this and it is now attached so I can run the notebook, right? I can draw shift enter and shift enter for db util so databricks utilities it is completely new video created a couple of days ahead you can refer to that for detailed explanation but it is databricks utility so there are many things that we can go through and fs is the one that mainly is used here i'm just going through and see okay what is db utils at fs okay it shows here missing one argument path that's the reason we need to provide the current path. What I'm trying to achieve here is what is in the current path, right? If, if you see here, there is file store, there is Databricks, results, Sudarshan, test, user. So where does this comes from? If you go to this uh, data tab here, here there is DVFS and these are all the things that is being shown here. But the Databricks data sets is not shown here. You need to just run the sale to in order to achieve that the same thing is here but it is not formatted quite properly how to format that that is display for the rescue so we can just run this then it is in a tabular format and it is easier for our eyes right we can view it in a tabular format that's great so what to do next let's see what is inside the file store and tables right if I go inside file store and tables, there are different things. Again, if you want to have this in a good format, go with the display, right? What I'm going to do here is trying to read the movie statistics data set that I have uploaded. If you have followed my previous videos, you know that I have uploaded this movie statistics data set. And the same data set is also provided in the GitHub if you want to work with the same data set then feel free to download that how to read it might be the question here is file location i'm just providing the location of this data as i get it from here right here you can see there is movie statistics data set and dbfs and this is the file here i'm saying df pd dot read csv and i'm just passing the file location separator this display df what I can also do here is import pandas, right? Import pandas as pd. And as I mentioned you in the earlier videos, pandas is already installed in the Databricks cluster. So we don't need to install it separately. Now, if I run this particular cell, let's see if it runs or not. This is the same issue many of you are facing and I can see the same question in Stack Overflow and many other places that you cannot read the file with pd.readcsv although you are providing the csv file right if you just want to use again so file location and type so here file location without this dbfs also you can do that if i run this again it will throw the same error right because we cannot read it through that or you can even do here just to show you <laughs> the different things i can i am just providing you all the things that we can use right you might be saying okay why didn't you try that one here it will throw the error use slash dbfs not dbfs right? but we are not able to read it by all three different scenarios here how to overcome that we can try spark instead so why spark is because databricks is built on top of spark and the creators of spark are the owners of databricks Right. When I am saying this, I think it's a good idea for you to go through the Databricks glossary 
as I said you, I'll provide this notebook so you can go through the link. There is a glossary provided by Databricks where you can search keywords, right? If I go here and type Spark, it will show us Apache Spark, Apache Spark as a service and many things. If you want to know what is Spark, because I'm not covering that in this series, Apache Spark is an open source analytics engine used for big data workloads right and if you scroll a little bit down it says here spark provides native bindings for java scala python and r programming languages it's really good from this diagram it's much clearer there is r python scala java and you can use ml lib streaming sql graphx and many things if you scroll a little bit more down what are the benefits of your purchase spark speed ease of use advanced analytics and so you can go through this particular website in order to know what are the different things that you need to know right now let's get back to the notebook where were we we were okay try spark instead right so i have i hope you already have seen this in many of my videos earlier that i'm using this format so i'm not going to explain you in depth but this is how it works you need to provide the file location the same file location that we provided before file type is csv csv options in for schema true or false first row is header true or false and delimiter just comma or whatever you want let me first show you the first row is header false because that is the default behavior i will show you how we can overcome that we have spark.read.format we provided the file type in for schema first row is header delimiter file location and then we display that if i run this it is going to grab that csv file and convert that into the PySpark data frame as you can see here but movie title is here production date is here okay what happened here it was just showing on the header but then it defaults to the first uh, row right that is why we need to provide the first row is header as true if i run this now the movie title will be on the first place here instead of underscore co right okay that's how you can read the csv file now i hope reading csv file is not a problem anymore if you find any problem always go with the spark with this piece of the code and maybe the delimiters can be different you need to resource or you need to source and provide the right delimiter now we can read this now you might be saying okay i want to work with pandas you can do that you can read the data using spark right and then spark df to pandas df it's just dot to pandas you can say pandas df equals to df which we just created here dot to pandas and then you can just run this now the pandas data frame is created from the PySpark data frame as you can see here the file type is pandas df is pandas dot core dot frame dot data frame so from PySpark if I show you here it is PySpark dot sql dot data frame dot data frame is now converted to pandas dot core dot frame dot data frame so now you can apply all the things that you are used to in working with pandas that's great that is done with the csv part the main challenging now is with the excel because many people use excel right now how to read with the excel files read excel file in community edition right how to read that there is one github repo i will click this which is called spark excel so it says here a spark plugin for reading and writing excel files so that is what we can use you can go through this github repo for more in-depth instructions but what we can do is we can install something on the cluster so that we can start reading it if i run this now it will not work because we haven't installed anything on the cluster it says here data source not found and yeah some errors what we need to do is i as you can see here i am providing here com.creolytics.spark.actual right in order to use this we need to install something in the cluster let me open the cluster now in the compute right click open in the new tab go to the tab there is 30 days of databricks so you need to go to the libraries part and here you can install the libraries i have shown you this in my previous video also but 
install new before i showed you how you can do with pipe but now we need to go with the maven and what package you need to install it's already shown some hint here but you can click this source packages there is spark packages as well as maven central go with the maven central and what was the github repo it is spark actual right if i go to the cluster and now type here spark actual it will show us many group ids artifact ids the, which one to choose now right the good idea is to choose the same as your runtime version so we have chosen the runtime run spark 2.12 i'm going with spark actual 2.12 i will select this one it is here and i will just say in install so it is going to install from where you can know that the spark runtime was 2.12 if you go to this configuration here you can see that the scala sorry not spark but scala 2.12 right we have apache spark 3.4.1 and scala 2.12 so you can choose any of those but just go with the one that you want trial and error if it doesn't work then again you can try the different version okay now it is already installed if i go back and now if i run this again it will run by the way you might be thinking okay where does this practice dot xls x comes from i uploaded this into databricks in order to upload these things you can watch my previous videos how to upload the file here as you can see it is just the random check only so person one person two 25 30 health in gspo so this was just the sample example just to show you how to read the excel file you might be wondering now how to create the temporary view i have already shown you many times from the df meaning that from our spark data frame by spark data frame we can create the you know, temporary view right you can just provide the name of the temp table or you can name it a view so let's say that this is table we want to create a table or view anything i'm creating here view if i run this it will create a view for us that is temp table name what is the temp table name it is practice actual right now we can just run sql cell providing percentage sql select all from practice actual if i run this it will show us the same thing that we just get here right what is down here is still so display and by the way one good part here so when you run this as you can see here select all from practice excel this is the sql command but if you notice here there is something down here it says underscore sql df pi spark sql data frame data frame although we are running the sql cell there is a pi spark sql data frame being created and it is assigned to underscore sql df if you want to view that you can just display this this is really handy way in order to visualize the data when you are working with sql commands also with the pi spark at the same time we didn't provide any df name but automatically behind the scene it is assigned to underscore sql df so yeah that's all for this video there was many things to take first we tried to load with pandas csv file it didn't work we use spark we went through the glossary we find what is apache spark then we installed something in the cluster we use that to read the actual file we know how to convert pi spark data frame into temporary view and then also how to convert the pi spark data frame into pandas data frame i hope now it's clear thank you for watching and see you in the next video